Hey guys, I'm gonna hit some uh, upper body stuff today. You will need a set of dumbbells, a little lighter than normal would be preferable, and a larger monster band or a mini band. Uh, so everything we do today, we're gonna focus on using three different grips, and I'll talk about sort of each one real briefly through each exercise. So starting off with bicep curls, we have, um, we're gonna have three different grips. The first one is overhand, where I'm gonna take my thumb and unlock it, and this is gonna be my grip as I curl with my palm down. Second one is neutral or hammer grip. You can put your thumb back in here. And the third one is supinated, which is palm up. So we're gonna do a 30 second hold. First round through, everything is overhand. So 30 second hold at 90 degrees. Then we're gonna go into 60 seconds of alternating curls. Try not to swing your upper body. And then 60 seconds rest. Second time through, we do all of that with our hammer grip. So 30 second hold, 30 second alternating curls, 30 second, uh, or 60 second rest, sorry, 60 seconds of alternating curls and 60 seconds of rest. And then lastly, we're going with our supinated grip, 30 second hold, 60 seconds of alternating curls, and 60 seconds of rest. So then we're gonna take that same philosophy to our military press. We're gonna go 30 seconds of hold with, this will be our standard grip. We're gonna hold up overhead. If you have good range of motion, you can be like by your ear without sticking your chest out and arching your back. If you need to do this, you can bring one foot forward and back so that you're supported, your back is straight up and down. If that's still too much, you can do your hold right here. This is gonna be for all of these. So military press, we do 30 second hold, and then 60 seconds of presses or alternating presses, and then 60 second rest. Second one is going to be a neutral grip this way, so we're gonna hold here, and then press here. Third one is gonna be Arnold, so our hold is gonna be here. This is what our Arnold presses look like. Or you can go one at a time, also depending on where you're at with your weight stack. So then we've got bent over rows, same philosophy. So we're here, we start with our overhand grip. Here's our hold, here's our row. Neutral grip, hold, row, and supinated grip. Hold, row. Um, at any point, if you need to stagger your stance, one forward and one back to help support your lower back, go ahead and do it. Uh, or you can always put uh, one knee down on a chair. Um, that tends to make it a little harder to go both arms, so then you might need to alternate arms. Um, lastly, we're gonna go seated monster band. So I'm gonna sit down, band around my feet, and depending if you have one of these, uh, depending on the weight you have, you can either bend your knees slightly to make it less difficult, or uh, straighten your legs and widen your feet to make it more difficult. So from here, we're gonna start with um, our overhand grip, 30 second hold, making sure I roll my shoulders down the back. Hold here, 30 second pulse, and 30 second row. Make sure when you row that we keep our shoulders rotated down and back. Second one, neutral grip, hold, pulse, and row. And then finally, supinated grip, hold, pulse, and row. So if you don't have the monster band, you could do all of this with a single mini band. Two if you have the same thing. So you'd be 30 second hold here, pulse here, row here. So obviously if you only have one mini band, you have to uh, alternate arms in that takes a little bit longer, but you can make it work with what you've got. All right guys, have fun.